my son, <laughs> my daughter, my wife, especially my wife. And they just set me right off. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? Sometimes I'm fine, Doc. Sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people, and I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. Oh. Reject advice. Accept advice. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Oh, man. That's so bad. Okay. And what about your sexual behavior? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I'm just staying myself right now, Doc. That sense my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself. What I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I can get my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, that's not for fun. Sure. What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. Huh.